bloodline a curve, and the D is pushed in there. Watch this video, find out how to tie. First off the bat, you'll need some blend fluorocarbon hook link stiff in 20 pounds and a Cassian size six hook. Cut off about 12 inches and then take the tag end through the back of the Cassian eye and thread up and leave yourself a nice tag end and begin tying the knotless knot like so. Before completing the knotless knot, go round the barrel of the knot twice before you thread back through the back of the eye. This will help lock the knot in place and stop it from flexing. The next thing you need is a Dazzler's Bloodliner Curve in large. You'll notice one end has a wider hole. Thread that down the hook link. Okay, that is the part that's going to go over the eye of the hook. Pull it down and take your time to ensure that the Dazzler Bloodliner Curve is nicely over the barrel of the knot, like so. Now comes a bit of trickery. Get a boiling needle and push it through the bloodliner and through the eye of the hook all in one to create a little hole to create a D. Take a Vitabit micro rig swivel, size 16, thread it onto the tag end, and then take the tag end to form your D by pushing it through that hole you just made. Pull it up nice and tight like so. Now with a lighter, carefully blob that tag end, leaving about three and a half mil protruding, push it back down, and there you go, a beautifully formed D. Now you're going to thread on a 30 mil blend tungsten anti-tangle sleeve down your hook link. Followed by 0.6 Vitabit kickback crimp. Put that onto the hook link. Make a loop by putting the other tag end through. Crimp it down in the small slot of the crimp tool. Nice and tight, you have a crimp loop. Cut the tag end off. Pull your anti-tangle sleeve up, which means that rig is now ready to clip onto any rig. Blob on a hook bait. Now check this out. Look at the anti-eject properties of it. It loves to flip and hold. This can be used with any type of bait. 